everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll and toy related videos multiple times every week. And in today's video, I'm so, so excited. This is going to be a first for me in general. Uh, we will be doing an unboxing and review of one of Nikki DX Girlie's dolls. Now, my history with Nikki DX Girlie goes back to fully when I was like 14 years old because DX Girlie was on the like Monster High forums and stuff and was this really prolific collector that I always look up to. Um, and I really loved her work and everything. And we started like actually talking, I think, back in like 2017. And I've been watching her grow as this amazing ball jointed doll artist. Like I remember the first post she made about like doing 3d modeling so it has been so cool to watch this artist develop in this area that I've always wanted to develop in but I've just been so scared and not even known what like where to begin with it and it's just been so inspiring and awesome to see her doing this so um if if you've been watching my videos for a long time my Kit Kitridge doll from American Girl was from when she got rid of a lot of her former collection that she had. I got my Willa and my Kit doll um, from that. And Nikki is such a wonderful artist and you can see her dolls are amazing. They're really unique and special. And I'm telling you like the, I've, I've, I follow her on Facebook, like we're Facebook friends and also on Instagram and stuff. And like her, the speed at which she's become this incredible ball jointed doll artist has been staggering. Like this is her true calling and it brings me so much pleasure and joy to tell you guys that she offered to send me one of her amazing ball jointed dolls. I've been scared to get into ball jointed dolls because I know what it's going to do to me. Um, I have some similar to ball jointed dolls, like dolls that are made to be adjacent to ball jointed dolls, like um, the hybrid active figure dolls from A-Zone. And then, of course, I have like mini BJDs, but I don't have any artist made like indie BJDs. So this is my first and what an honor it is to have been a gift from an incredible artist and friend like nikki um and i can't believe this is real i this doll actually arrived at my house i think last week like early last week and i wasn't able to do this video like i wanted to because i was um preparing for a convention <laughs> oh this smells so good do you spray perfume on these nikki <laughs> I've just been staring at these from afar for so long. This is so... Oh my gosh. Warning. Opening this package will cause extreme happiness. She smells so good. Like... <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Custom ball jointed doll from DX Girly Designs. Ronaldo, you can't do that, baby. See, this is extra cool because I have no idea what I'm getting. Am I getting a full set, which I think means that they're painted? Am I getting like a base ball jointed doll for me to try to paint? I don't even know what sculpt I'm getting. Uh, Nikki has a lot of really, really cool sculpts and I'll show you those throughout this video. But like, I don't know. I'm really nervous. <laughs> um, this was very much just like she was like, I really want to send you one of my dolls. Like, would you do a YouTube video? And I was like, absolutely, I would. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just... I'm scared. <laughs> oh, there's organza in here. It says, love it, brag about it, snap and share, and thank you. Okay. Really, really beautiful. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Really beautiful packaging presentation. Okay, so I think you go like this. Oh, she's like wrapped in something. Okay, there is an envelope in here. I love all the custom printed stuff. Okay, okay, it says uh, my resin color is hazelnut. The number is 258. Um, the date was May 15th, 2024, and beautiful signature. And it's on this pretty sparkly resume paper that I love. Okay. And then we have a thank you card that says, thank you for supporting my small business. It says DX Girly Designs with all of her info. And all of her info will be linked in the description first thing. And then, oh my God, a little magnet with one of her dolls on it. Oh, cute. So think it shows the title doll here oh I think bubbles that must be my sculpt I'm nervous okay um I think this must be the doll okay I love this blanket I wonder if that's so that you can like carry the doll places easier this packaging this is so cool okay so we'll unwrap her together so we can see her at the same time Okay, and then there's like a baby blanket here, which is cute. Okay, do I need to cut this or do I just unwrap? I think there's tape here that I need to pop open. 
think I might see hair or something. I'm not sure. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, I think what we're gonna do, sorry, I have never opened one of these before. I don't know what the protocol is. Um, cast in resin, I think. It says resin color, so I have to imagine it's resin. Um, so they're very, or I don't know how delicate they are. I guess I'll find out. Oh, she has clothing and hair. Oh. Okay, that was something I was really nervous about because I don't know the first thing about, like, I know there's like MSD and SD and all these different things, but I have no idea what any of that actually translates to or means. Okay. Oh my god, and she's painted too. Oh wow, I don't know how to free her. <laughs> wow, okay, so we gotta undo the tape. Wow. And there's like a special little head protecting piece. Oh my god, her face is so pretty. These dolls, it's interesting. I the, She's like the exact size I thought she was gonna be, but she's so heavy like and I love to feel like a heavy doll they feel so high quality oh my god this is so cool because I'm, I'm serious I've been following her work for so long um I'm like shaking actually my legs are shaking oh my gosh okay she's so pretty her face is amazing yeah Nikki's like this rare special type of artist in person where like she can do it all like she does the faces on a lot of them I don't I guess this one because it doesn't have any kind of indication that it wasn't done by her and she sculpts these she assembles them like she does so much it's really incredible okay wow the wig is so cool and i love this little outfit she's so heavy okay so this this is bubbles and she is a strung doll so similar to those mini bjds that i open she has like string I mean I have to imagine oh are there little finger loopies oh I don't think that's on purpose okay let me free that finger so there's strings that are holding her body together which makes the articulation really unique and different so that's definitely something I still haven't gotten used to with the mini ball jointed dolls yet because I'm used to what I think is called an MJD mechanical jointed doll which is what basically any doll you're used to is Oh my god, she moves so cool. And don't worry, you guys, we're gonna flip the camera around and you'll be able to see, like, all these details up close. But I do want to note that usually when you buy ball-jointed dolls, I, I think Nikki did this because she knows that I have, I do not know the first thing about ball-jointed dolls. Well, I know quite a bit just from orbiting because I think they're so cool, so I follow a lot of BJD artists. But, um... <laughs> Because they're just the coolest, coolest dolls. But I don't know, like, hair. I don't know eyes. Like, you have to buy every individual piece for these usually because they're meant to be, like, they're artist-made dolls, but you get to customize them. But a lot of artists will sell, like, a full set sort of thing where you get everything. Uh, so I, I haven't really seen if Nikki offers that, but I assume she does because I know she does face-ups. And she does face-ups on other people's sculpts, too. Um, and her collection is so cool just seeing it develop and we'll get to it but her dolls have this really really unique and awesome body sculpt and I'm really excited to see this one because I'm not sure uh, which sculpt this is I guess it's probably bubbles and the face is gorgeous so so pretty and the hair is very very soft too uh, these little wigs it's interesting though I, I did think the heads were a little bit bigger she's so cool okay I'm gonna flip the camera around now that we're like first impressions are done I don't I just want to sit here and hold her and like talk about her uh but now that the first impressions are done I'm gonna flip the camera around I'm gonna go get some other dolls so we can do some size comparisons and I'll be right back all right you guys I'm trying to figure out how to structure a video like this because I'm not going to review her like I would a mass-produced fashion doll I don't have enough knowledge to do so even if I was going to review her as a ball jointed doll um so I'm just gonna show you the beautiful artistry here and just talk about Nikki's work I guess because I'm a huge fan and I'm really excited to get this opportunity to like showcase this incredible doll that she made so I do believe that Nikki does um face-ups on other dolls but you'd have to check her page and see what kind of commission she does if she still does but just a look at this artwork like I'm gonna pull the wig back so you guys can see look at the fluffy eyebrows and the beautiful eyelashes applied under there and the eyes and i do know I'll show you ball jointed dolls you can switch that sort of thing out so oh wow so I, I knew they used poster putty for that so that's how you hold the eyes in and you can also reposition them if you want all right her hair is back check out this sculpt like the shapes the ears so so cute and just look at the makeup it looks like, it's actually done on skin. It's really incredible. And I wish I could let you, like, reach through the screen and feel this. Because the doll is, like, cold to the touch. This is what resin feels like, I guess. Um, it feels like a rock. 
It's really, really interesting. And just look at the freckles and the delicate blushing. I love the shape of the lips, the way they're sculpted and done. Like even this little piece, which I have this. I don't know if this is normal. I guess it must be. Um, this like little extra lip outside of the lip. And she's got this adorable nose. Look at the shape of this nose. Nikki's sculpt work is just remarkable and watching it over time where it already started at such a like really... Oh, by the way, the cat hair, um, I took her to show her to my husband and I was taking pictures of her with my cat, just so you know. Um, anyway, watching Nikki's sculpt work improve from literally the first moment she started playing with 3D modeling until now, I just can't believe. I, it's just so incredible. And look at her little nose and the little Cupid's bow. So cute. And this is just one of many, many sculpts that Nikki does. Um... I looked on her page just now and I think it's 27 currently available face sculpts. So that's kind of a lot. And then just for this specific doll, this is just, I think she dressed this doll for me because again, I don't have anything for Paul Joyner dolls. Um, she has this really, really soft wig. I think it's Kanekalon. It kind of feels um, like real. It's so nice. Really, really cute, nice hair. I love the like style of it. And it says this is a six, seven inch wig, which I don't, I guess like live wigs might be that size, right? And then... We've got little charms on this little hat. Well, this one's a little capuchon. And then this is um, a cross of safety pins. Very cute white safety pins. And I love the hat. It's adorable. And I love these little hangies coming down. It's knitted. Extremely cute. And then she also has a knitted top, which I'm not sure if these are like artist made or not. If they are and I find out, I will link the artist in the description. Um, very, very cute clothes. I love the little ripped parts. How cute is that? And on the wrists, too. The distressed areas. Oh, there's another one. So cute. And we will be looking at the body sculpt in a little bit. And then she's got this skirt. And since ball joint and dolls come in a lot of sizes, the clothing um, has to be able to accommodate a lot of different dolls. Because usually, unless it's like a super popular one, like I think Mini Fee is one of the really popular ones from Doll Fairyland. Um, generally, the clothing will be adaptable. So that's why in the back it opens quite a bit in case you have a doll with like a very large um, hip, which this one does. And yeah, just a black pleated skirt with a big safety pin in a unique design. I don't know this design. And then very cute little charm and chain coming down. Look at the sculpt on this hand, by the way. So beautiful. Also moves really, really nicely. I managed to get her to stand on her own too, which that's a clip that's going to be later where I'm comparing her to other dolls. Um, she stood on her own, so... There's that. Um, the only joints that I have trouble with, but I think that's just a stringing thing and it's everybody's preference, what they like. Um, the knees are a little bit loose, but I think that's because they have two different joints you can play around with, which we'll play around with. I really want to try posing because I've never had a doll like this before. And she does have a chest joint, by the way, which is very exciting. I love a chest joint. And then she has these little tennis shoes and these little leg warmers, super, super cool. And very realistic, very, very cool. Again, if these are artist made or available somewhere and I get the word, I will link them in the description because I know a lot of you guys actually do collect ball jointed dolls. I've seen you um, ask me questions about them before, so I know that I have an audience there. Anyway, um, I'm going to remove her clothing so we can take a look at the body sculpt. If you're offended by doll, nud doll nudity, therapy, then come back. All right, y'all, we have returned for the articulation showcase and... I just want to note that this doll is slightly anatomically correct. YouTube is weird about that, so I have decided to cover the chest and leave the underwear on, but I'll still show you all of the details of the sculpt that I can. Um, and then Nikki does have posts, including the rest. I'm so sorry about that. I just, YouTube will take down this video, I think. And I really don't want that to happen because this, I really want to be able to share my friend's part. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you the articulation and you'll be able to see the sculpt as well. So it's the head movement. It's a really, really good head movement. And then we have the shoulder. I mean, everything moves so well, uh, but you have to you have to deal with the strings, and I'm not super used to strings yet, um, especially on a big doll like this. And you can see that there's lots of double-jointed areas, which help a lot with movement. But I really like the way that they're disguised. Like, not here, but on the other side, it looks super, super smooth, which I like a lot super pretty and i love the hands they're so delicate and pretty the pose is really awesome i wonder if this was inspired by ever after high because i know nikki used to collect them it's really pretty not that that's the only doll to ever do this hand pose or anything but i don't know 
I love the way that the belly is done. That's one of the things with Nikki's dolls in particular is that the bodies always have like really realistic. I really want to know what like Nikki's background in anatomy is because like look at the different areas and the different curves and folds to the body. It's so incredible. Oh, look, the little Venus humps. I think these are called the little dimples on the back and here. And I think there's even a hip dip there. Is that what this is? so pretty and here's the movement for the chest joint by the way really really expressive nice movement here love it so good and i love that all of these sculpted areas aren't taking away from how beautiful the or sorry the articulated areas aren't taking away from how beautiful the sculpt is and then here is the caboose really realistic shape like all of the curve it's so impressive and i'm pretty sure nikki like fully self-taught for this stuff at least from the outside looking in I, I, it's so incredible and look at this too it's so beautiful so so cool and then there is a like really interesting hip i think a lot of ball jointed dolls do this this is but look how like smoothly it moves and stuff that's what allows you to have a sit but still have an attractive sculpt that they want when they're standing. Uh, this is something that a lot of fashion dolls struggle with a lot. Um, this is what makes standing possible, but also a little bit challenging because you got to position these things just right in order to get a good stand going. But she definitely can stand on her own. At least mine can. If if that's something that they're ha like you're having trouble with or you would anticipate having trouble with, it, it has to do with how the doll is strong, I think, because if she starts to drift or something, but the shoes actually helped. And you can see the string in there. It's like an elastic string or something. I don't know. And there is a twist here. There isn't a twist on the arm, but you can just twist this around so you can get around that. And you could do that with the knee too, but it's nice that this joint on its own can twist. And then you can see the knee, which is... Oh, interesting. Look, there's a little catch there. So I think if you pull the string, you can like, yeah... <gasps> Oh, that is so clever. So there's a catch here that keeps it in place. I guess, I, if I had to guess, that's to help her stand better. But you can pull and have the string go further if you want to do the kneel. Wow. Again, I don't know ball jointed doll, so I might be wrong on that. But if that's the case, that is so clever. And that's such a cool way to get around um, that. Because, yeah, it would be hard to make them stand if there wasn't something to catch like that. And then looking down here, we can see the little feetsies, which are so well sculpted as well. I feel like this would be the hardest part to me to sculpt, the hands and the feet. And these are so, so well done. So cool. And I love that they have the nails and even like the tiny folds. I just, this anatomy mastery is so, so fascinating. Really, really cool sculpt. She's so cute. All right. I wanted to show you guys a size comparison. But it's kind of difficult because the largest doll is so big. I don't know why, but I perceived um, these dolls to be this size. But again, I think this is the size of a Dolphy Dream because these are meant to be like Dolphy Dreams. And then also smart dolls, I think, are about this big. But I don't know. This is a hybrid active figure. And then this is the DX Girly doll. I believe this is the curvy sculpt with the bubbles head sculpt. So pretty. I need to fix the hair still. And then this is her next to a Barbie. So she's not as large as she might look. She's kind of a mid-range here. Definitely a larger doll than I'm used to. So pretty. Look at her. Look at that face. And well, that's it for this video. I am so honored and grateful that Nikki wanted to send me one of her amazing pieces of artwork i've been so scared to get into ball jointed dolls but it was always my like thing that the first big artist made doll purchase i would do would have been nikki's and i just can't believe just one day she dm'd me saying you've been supporting me since the beginning and i i want you to have one of my dolls and i was so floored and honored because like i'm just such a big fan and these dolls are in Incredible, just every detail. I'm really impressed with the sculpt. Like, I've never actually held one of these dolls in my hand, so I don't know how they compare, but just all of the different thoughtful areas and interesting just curvature to every piece of this doll, including the face. Like, 
just look at this doll it's just absolutely stunning you still get that cartoonishness and doll like qualities while also having realism to her and i think that's so so beautiful and that's what has always impressed me about nikki's artwork is that consistently since the beginning i've seen things like this and i'm pretty sure she was self-taught and even if she was taught in like a class there's just this mastery here that i, I feel is unusual in having this much realism and i love super cartoony dolls as you guys know but this is probably my most realistic looking doll that i own and she's just incredible just an absolutely beautiful piece of artwork and i highly recommend you guys check check out nikki i'll link all of her different social media she has one for fashion dolls which she started collecting again which has been really exciting um and also for her ball jointed doll business and her just ball jointed doll page which you can see her ball jointed doll characters by others and she has some really really cool sculpts available and also down the pipeline like there's this rabbit one i don't know if that's coming soon or if that one's already out but that one is like really 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 cool and i hope you guys enjoy my first true bjd video because i know people don't necessarily consider those little chinese bjds to be the same caliber as these although i there's quite a bit of overlap in those communities i found um just beautiful beautiful doll and i am so so grateful and excited to welcome her into my collection also do you like her little chair I think this is one of those Walmart My Life As chairs. When I find them thrifting, I always grab them. I have two of them. But it's perfect for her. Look, she fits so perfectly. So adorable. And yeah, I'm going to need to find her clothes. Once we start doing random unboxings, you might start noticing clothing and wigs making their way in for this cutie pie. And um, yeah, this is the info on this doll. So if you like the skin tone and the face sculpt, there is the info on that. This is so cool. I love how premium everything feels. Like, I love the little magnet too. Yeah, that's one of Nikki's dolls. This is a different sculpt? I don't know. I think this is the same sculpt, which is kind of cool. And yeah. So I wanted to give you guys the special extra section explaining how you can get a hold of Nikki's dolls if you're interested or just where to follow her. So if you want to follow her work and see how it develops or just see different dolls that she has in her collection and stuff, check out DX Girly Designs. That's her brand account, like her official presence. And then she also has DX Girly underscore likes underscore BJDs. And that's where you can find her ball jointed doll collection, which includes dolls from other artists. And you can also see a lot of her face up work there, as well as a lot of other really talented BJD artists. You can follow them by seeing their dolls on her page. And then she also has DX Girly underscore dolls, which is just her regular fashion doll sort of account. Anyways, if you are interested in having a fully casted resin doll like this one, which would be the most premium option, they're $450 and there is not a pre-order up for them right now, but if there was, they would cost that. And she does plan to have pre-orders out around fall for some of her designs. I assume the new rabbit designs will be included, which is super, super exciting. She also has 3D printed resin garage kits that you can buy for 200. So that means that you get the everything that you need to make the doll basically, except, you know, like the paint and stuff. Um, so that's really, really cool. And then for, and those are $200. And then for even less money, you can print them yourself. So using a regular 3D printer or a resin 3D printer or whatever you have available. And I will link that in the description, or you can check out her website, which will also be linked in the description. And yeah, <laughs> this was really cool. I didn't know about this garage kit business and I'm tempted to try it. It seems really, really cool. And she said that she currently has 33 head sculpts and six different body types to choose from. And that's just what's currently available. That means that there's a lot more that either have been made and are not currently available or are coming down the pipeline. Nikki is an incredible artist. And I'm so grateful to have the privilege to share her artwork with artwork with you in such a way and um she offered to send me one of her dolls last year and I immediately was like Nikki you cannot like that is so unbelievably thoughtful not only because of the price of the doll because these dolls aren't just expensive to be expensive they're expensive because the supplies and the artistry and the expertise that you need to make them warrants that kind of price and that's why ball jointed dolls generally cost that much when they're indie that's the idea um but she she insisted and I am so grateful and by the way with the garage kits you just message that brand account to get them. Anyways, that is seriously it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. For all this time, bye.